part two, change to succeed in business today. Hey, notice, watch out, change up ahead. Here's a quote. In some cases, without change, we get more of the same. Well, during those tough times, if you want more of the same, don't change a thing. Or if you want a new result, a new sale, more of what you really want that you're not getting, why not change something in how you're doing something or to whom or... You know? Change can be good, especially when all you've got is the same old, same old during those tough times. You know, depending on the nature of your business, the industry you operate in, and other factors, what used to work yesterday probably doesn't work today. The truth? Changes are required to operating during tough times. Yes, our world has changed unlike never before in history. Business has changed. People have changed. Customers have changed. The market's changed. Trends of all kinds, buying and selling, are more unpredictable than ever before. We live in a growing global economy. Now that's good and that's bad and, well, you know, hmm, it's just happening. We must think outside the box. We must test, measure, and quantify all aspects of our business from top to bottom, from the selling process to customer service, analyze profit, loss statements, production reports, anything and everything we can get our hands on. We're about to change the way we do business. Everything now must be analyzed, measured, and accounted for if we are to survive. It's time to get back to the basics of running a business. We must relearn the fundamentals of business. We must implement the fundamentals of business. And we must live the fundamentals of business. There is a heavy tendency to not want to change. Facts could never be further from the truth in this day and age of tough times and economic struggle for your business. You must change to succeed. Now, challenge your assumptions. We first must assume that all aspects of our business need heavy scrutinizing and possibly, and in some cases, radical change. The way you operate your business, the way you sell products and services, the way you treat clients, the way you treat employees, all of these things might be stale and a little out of touch with reality and you don't even know it. So what do we do? We need to survey our customers and clients. We need to survey our employees and partners. We need to survey our associates and our colleagues. We need to survey our vendors and suppliers. Find out from an outside perspective just how your business is operating. How does it look to the public? What's their perception? Listen. How do you look to clients when they see you? Ask what they think. How do you look to your employees and partners? Can you learn anything from their input and observation and perspective? Ask and you shall receive the information that will guide you back to the success that you once had inside and out.